Hey guys, Jonah here, Thirsty Thursday, gonna have a beer, gonna do a beer review. But which one are we doing? Well, you probably already know, we are going back to Manchester. Or, weirdly, this is another one <laughs> that is not actually in Manchester because you can see it on here. But if you look up, oh, up here on the old little thing, MBH or uh, Moberly is actually underneath Manchester, underneath Greater Manchester in uh, Knutsford. Um, but I believe they've recently moved. Well, I know they've recently moved because I've I've read the Moberly Brew House article, which again is by the lovely Robin Gilmore. She is, she's good. I mean, obviously I read a few papers, but and I read this magazine, but out of all the beer um, writers uh, that are doing, let's have have a think, sort of postmodern stuff because Michael Jackson. He he, shaman. Not that Michael Jackson. The other one, the beer-loving Michael Jackson, um, was the man of the old school. But um, yeah, new school. There's loads and loads of different writers. But Robin Gilmore, fantastic writer. Uh, she's got a um, a blog as well. Check it out because um, she does write a lot of stuff. Anyway, we're not talking about that today. Although I just have. We're talking about this beer here, dun, 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 which is Dream State by Moberly, M Moberly Brew House. And like I said, Nutsford. Um, and that, look at that spider diagram. That is a very weird one. It's basically telling us that this doesn't have strong flavors. It's mellow. It's mellow as a mofo. Uh, and that could be, the hops, we got mosaic, but we got laurel as well. Laurel is another American hop, um, but it's kind, it's kind of a little bit mellow. Uh, very similar, actually, to mosaic, but it's got a more dark fruit. It's not so tropical as mosaic. Uh, right, let's see what it says. Dream State. Ugh, dream State. I was going to say Scape, like the movie with Randy Quaid. Um, is the sort of beer... You can't help to fall in love with. Easy drinking, super refreshing, endlessly drinkable, yet still full of character. It's a beautiful citrus and stone fruit from the mosaic uh, and laurel. Sits on top a smooth yet crisp multi base. Features extra power malt and lots of oats. And oats, as you probably well know, if you know me at all, dear viewer, is is one of the things that's fantastic usually they use oats in dark beer traditionally um but the new styles kind of cross all sorts of borders and oats in sort of uh, pale ales dare i say nipa style pale ales as well um it's not a traditional kind of west coast american um and over here in the uk oats traditionally were in stouts and things so yeah we don't usually use it but let's take a look i did have a stout in one of the local micropubs around here and it was a, a blonde stout it was ridiculous very cool if you want to know more about that beer why don't you uh, get me on untapped i don't usually do I do it sometimes, but I don't usually record while I'm in a pub because all the background noise. So there we go. MBH Dream State. And it's a sort of pastel, weird colour. I mean, it's very kind of, uh, I mean, twee, I guess. Nothing against it, but Jesus, it's not my style. And we've got barley wheat. Oh, it's got wheat in as well. Wheat, oats, hops and yeast. And Mobley Brew House. Um, and it says drink fresh. Best before December, so we're well within that. ABV is 4.2% on the ABV. And as usual, avoid pregnant ladies at all costs because um, they don't like beer, apparently. But then if you go to the pub, are you going to come across? Um, 
many pregnant ladies? I don't know if you would. Indeed. Lovely jubbly. Right. As usual, we have got the tulip shaped glass. Let's go for a pour. Let's try and get it on camera for a change. I always fail. I always zoom too far in on my uh, camera shots, but that's because my background has got lots of boxes and a, and a door. Maybe I could do one of these. Do you think that will be any good? Because it's, it's got the kind of weird thing in there. Um, Mobley Brew House. I'll put that over there. Boom. Headwise, over a finger's head at the moment. Although we have got some lovely white bubbles. And look on the top there. It looks like a fermenting beer, like a, a fermenting vessel, shall we say. Uh, the beer itself calls itself a pale ale, which I'm, I'm fantastic about. Uh, very hazy. You cannot see a sausage through there. And the nose is interesting. I had a, a wee sniff out of the can, but it's fresh. It's kind of fruity, but it's light. I think whoever chose these colours was going for the kind of light thing. The Pale Ale 4.2, which is light in my book. Um, and the aromas, you can definitely get some hop character, but it's very light. It's like sniffing a cloud. Um, there is some stone fruit. There is some tropicalness there, but it's just hints of, which is kind of a nice thing. Anyway, guys, this is Uncle Jonah saying cheers and beers to you all. Um, please consider liking this video. It really does help me out. Um, just click, do it now. Just click down there. Very easy to do. And it does make a difference. Cheers and beers on a thirsty Thursday. Wow. Thought so. Really light. The wheat and the oats give a little bit of creaminess. It's not super sharp on the hot bitterness. A little bit of sweetness too. A little bit of kind of lime green, shall we say, very light green. Then we've got very light tropical notes. Maybe light she. The stone fruit's there, but it's not like a, a date or, you know, it's not like a heavy kind of stone fruit. It's a light stone fruit. Everything about this is laid back, light, soft, dare I say. And 4.2% on the ABV, it gives it a kind of, yeah, it's like, it's a soft version. Um, it's a pale ale. What more can I say? is an absolutely lovely pale ale, but that creaminess does give it a taste, a kind of taste of a sort of light stout, if that makes sense. And if I, if my memory is right, I'm not sure. I think Guinness is 4.1 now. So believe it or not, this very pale, light pale ale is actually stronger than a Guinness. That's bizarre when you think about it. And I wouldn't be surprised if Guinness goes even lighter. Oh, a bit, bit more of a kind of citrus fruit there. And if you see very nice kind of well-formed tide lines, which is a really good um, sign for me because I like that kind of thing. I like the formation of head, foam, whatever you're going to call it. Really nice. Yeah, so that mouthful, all of a sudden, a little bit more zestiness. Um, I would say the creaminess from my initial 
for my first um yeah my first swig it's kind of dissipated a little bit and the the zesty kind of fruits have taken over a little bit they're still not strong it's not like arr, licking a lemon or something like that but it's got a bit more zesty so i wonder i'm thinking that's probably a mouthful i would say a gulp um and usually especially in the more cloudy beers where there's lots of particulates usually the final um taste is totally different to the first Ooh. wow quite well carbonated i apologize dear viewer but if you're like me and you like drinking beer that is something you need to get rid of uh, get rid of get used to <laughs> my god i apologize i have already been in the local pub and had two beers before this one so uh yeah if you're wondering has he gone completely mad no he's just two beers in and this is the third richard the third <laughs> Hmm, interesting. So we're getting the zestiness, um, zesty tropical fruit, but we're also getting a stronger lychee kind of lychee kind of taste. The weird thing is, I wasn't getting too much dark fruit. I was definitely getting a more stony fruit type of uh, vibe, but it's not like in the UK we get stone fruit and they tend to be dried up, like kind of like prunes or dates or uh, or dates. What, what are those? Um, ah, what are those things called? Uh, it's more or less dates, isn't it? Dates and that type of fruit, stone fruit. You have to spit out the stone. Um, but this has a lot more light, like a fresh kind of stuff, like an apricot, perhaps um but it's creamy too maybe that suggests avocado but it doesn't taste like avocado um it does have that kind of creaminess and it does have that greenness too so yeah something to definitely think of anyway dear viewer i'm out of beer and you guys are probably out of time if you've watched to the very end thank you very much i hope you enjoy i hope you're a subscriber if you're not and you're this far in and we're kind of 13 minutes in so please consider because you obviously like my dulcet tones um and you want to see when my beer reviews come out i try and do one every day if i can i definitely drink beer every day um if not why not follow me on untapped look down below in the uh, link you'll find my uh, my uh, link to my untapped account please drop by and say hello give me a message that kind of stuff Uncle Jonah is saying, please be interactive. It, the more you are interactive with me, the more I'll be interactive with you. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for another beer review. Till then, drink some beer on Thirsty Thursday and take care of yourselves.